friends and I am back. I am Sarim Khan studying in 5th standard. Today I have brought for you the part second of question number 5th from exercise 1.1 okay okay from chapter 1 that is sets from class 11th NCRT mathematics. So here we have second part of question number 5th in which we will solve the question number 3rd and question number 4th of question number 5th. So here we have as we know question number 5th is list all the elements of the following sets. We have already solved this question. List all the elements of the following sets. Okay, two parts we had solved. Today we are going to solve the rest of the two parts. So here we have any set and named as C. So here it has been given as C equals to X is to be X is an integer and X squared is lesser than and equals to 4. So from here our solution will start. So here we can write solution okay so here our solution starts so c equals to x is to be x is an integer and x squared is lesser than and equals to 4 this we have so now according to this we'll find so this we have that x is to be x is an integer means whichever elements will uh, have in this set c okay all elements can be integer means we can take the elements as positive 2 negative 2 and 0 2 and here next is given that whichever elements are present it will do their square so it is equals to 4 and lesser than 4 okay so here we can solve it so for that what we need to focus we have to focus over some digits okay so just like the integers which uh, we have many thousands many infinity number of integers okay but we have to focus some integers some such integers whose square will do so it will be first lesser than four letter equals to four so just like let us start from zero so here we have zero if we do a square of zeros, it will happen 0 into 0, which is equals to 0, which is lesser than 4. Okay, as we know, 0 is lesser than 4. So, this we can write that actually 0 is an element of this set. So, here we can write this set. Okay, imagine here we are writing the set. So, 0 we can list here. Next, we can take if just like next we can take okay first let us start from negative so minus 1 will start minus 1 square will do okay minus 1 square will do just by doing okay it is also in tz it's a square we are doing equals to minus 1 into minus 1 which is equals to what okay as we know minus into minus plus 1 into 1 1 so plus 1 which can be written as 1 which is lesser than 4 so minus 1 we can write here Next is minus 2, let us try, minus 2 square will do, which is equal to minus 2 into minus 2, okay, which is equal to minus into minus plus 2 into 2, 4, so positive 4, this we have, so it is equals to 4, okay, and we can take it as equals to 4, x square equals to 4 and lesser than 4, so it is also equals to 4, so this also we can write, okay, next minus 3, let us try one time minus 3 squared which is equal to minus 3 into minus 3 minus into minus plus 3 into 3 9 which is equal to positive 9 but 9 is lesser than 4 sorry greater than 4 so we cannot take minus 3 because x x squared should be lesser than and equals to 4 not greater than 4 so here we cannot take as minus 3 and if it is such so forward if we go any more forward in negative okay in negative uh, direction so they are all will okay if, if we'll do their square so it will be greater than 4 so we'll stop our okay in negative direction here now let us solve for positive integers okay so for our solving it forward will write and will start from 1 now let us start from 1 so for 1 we have 1 squared equals to 1 into 1 which is equals to 1 which is lesser than 4 so we can write here 1 Next is next a positive integer is 2. 2 squared equals to 2 into 2 which is equals to 4 which is equals to 4. Okay and as we know x squared can be equals to 4 so 2 squared is also equals to 4. Okay so and we know 4 equals to 4 so this we can write that 2. Okay next is 3 squared if we do 3 a square of 3 so 3 into 3 which is equals to 9 which is greater than 4 so we cannot take 3 so we'll stop our okay calculation here now negative we have calculated positive we have calculated and it has stopped here so now we'll also stop our calculation here okay this we have the answer is 
zero minus one minus two one and two. Now only what we have to do, we have uh, to arrange it in order. Okay, in ascending order, which is the smallest here, that is minus two equals to minus two. Later minus one zero one and two. This we have. Now this is our answer for question number third. This we have. Now here, here we have to solve for fourth. Fourth here will solve. So here question number fourth is in the question number fifth that d we have any set named as d. So d equals to x is to be x is the letter in the word loyal. So here it has been given information. We have any set d and whichever elements in the set d are present. Okay, those elements can be taken as all letters in the word loyal. This word we have. Loyal, okay. So L O Y A L. Its spelling is and whichever letters are present, those are all elements of D. No more or no less uh, any elements. So only what we have to do by applying comma after each letter, we have to write. But we have to make sure that no digit here will be repeated and our answer will come. So here we have fourth will solve. So for that only only bar let us make L. We have L will write. Letter O we can write. Letter Y will write. Letter A. Now again L will not write because L one time we have written and we have to make sure no digit should be repeated. And if it will be such that if a digit will repeat, so our answer will come wrong. Whole our method will come wrong. Okay, it will get wrong. So for doing it right, no digit should be repeated. After that, no other digit is. So the answer is L O Y A. This we have the answer for fourth is L O Y A, while for third it is minus two, minus one, zero, and one and two. So this was my today's topic. If you like this topic, so you can like this video and you can subscribe my channel. Thank you.